Hello, Sapphire's community. Welcome back to another World of Tanks called Seville. So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about some ways you can fix very powerful tanks slash OP tanks in Cold War. Now, a week ago, I made a video saying that Cold War sucks, and I completely right don't like Era 3 the most, and I kind of mentioned some ways to fix it. Then, Ricky made a video replying to that video and adding his own opinions. And he also, well, he mentioned that powerful premium tanks kind of changed Era 3. Like, he mentioned the Weasel. So, now, there's four tanks I want to look at. And, in my opinion, rebalance them. And these four are either overpowered or extremely powerful. And those are the Object 292, the Object 477A, the Weasel, and the FV-4005. Now, the 477A is actually overpowered. The other three are just extremely powerful. I wouldn't say the Weasel's overpowered, and I wouldn't say the 4005 is overpowered, or the 292 is, just the 477A. But regardless, we're going to change some stats, and this is exactly what I would change them to, and why. So. Let's let's do an easy one first. The FV4005 currently has the biggest gun in Arrow 1. Does 1,450 damage if you load Hash and pin with it, and it's 1,150 damage. And also has pretty dang good camo. And it is fast. So if you take the measure of balance, which is firepower, mobility, and sur survivability, firepower, Yes, the 4005 has really good firepower. It's one of the best guns at Era 1. Firepower, yes. Because, uh, avail survivability in this case is not armor, it's concealment. And not size. And size. So, the size of the tank is very big, but the concealment's pretty good. It's really good, so that kind of evens itself out. But... The mobility is very fast. 4005 goes very fast. And this is the Cold War version. 4005, it goes 56.3 kilometers. Now, what I would change about the 4005, but you also gotta keep in mind, the 4005 is a tank destroyer. What makes a tank destroyer? Concealment and firepower. So those are two things I'm not gonna touch. Mobility, is not what tank destroyers are known for. They're known for their big guns and their great concealment. And they're pretty good view range. Decent view range. But let's talk about the 4005's mobility. Now the 4005 gets three three different engines. Its first engine goes 40.3. Its second engine goes 48.3. Currently, a third engine goes 56.3. So, I'm only going to be talking about the third engine. So, let's talk about the third engine. I would reduce the top speed from 56.3 to 50, which still has a top speed advantage over the middle engine by 2 kilometers. And I would also re remove, well, not remove, uh, reduce the horsepower per ton from 18.62. Well, improve the horsepower per ton from 1862 to 19 because I reverse because I reduce its mobility, but let's improve its horsepower per ton because it's also era one, and you have a lot of freaking fast light tanks, and it still needs to fight itself around there, but not too much. So top speed goes down because it is a very it's a very powerful tank because of its firepower and it's it's gun and it's mobility because it's able to get into place do 1450 and just run away without getting punished so yeah nerf its mobility from 56.3 to 50 but give it a horsepower per ton buff of 18.62 to 19 also guys if you end up liking this video consider subscribing because it's free and helps the channel a ton also if you have any disagreements or you agree with me, let me know in the comments sections below or any other taints I should take a look and rebalance. 
or what your opinions on them should be. So, speaking with the TDs, let's let's go to the weasel. Now, I've heard a lot of things about getting rebalanced for the weasel, and yeah. So I heard that make it have light tank camo where silent driving doesn't work on the weasel. Now, that takes into account, well, first of all, light tanks has a passive boost of having the same concealment on the move while sitting still. So that makes silent driving useless because silent driving helps you get your moving concealment closer to your still concealment so if the moving and still concealment is the exact same silent driving is inefficient it's not just light tanks there are some other tanks like the m50 ontos has this ability as that passive but yeah that's a dumb idea because that would just make the tank even stronger now remember how i said this is also a tank destroyer it's Let's look at the firepower. Let's look at the triangle of balance. It's got a really good gun. It's got the AT gems. It does 1300 damage on its standard, 1430 on its premium, which I didn't know. I thought it was all the, all the same. 800 millimeters of penetration on its standard, 1000 on its premium. It is AT gem launcher, so I'm pretty much going to leave it as is. Its survivability, this, in this case, camo and how small it is. But it also has the lowest amount of hit points in Era 3 at 2,700. I believe it's the lowest. It's got to be one of the lowest. Which is even lower than a lot of Era 2 tanks. Which is impressive. Um, it's concealment is powerful. It's very good concealment. It's one, it's, I think it is the best concealment in the game. But it's moving concealment sucks. But if you can fix that moving concealment... And the third one is its mobility. It is really good mobility. Its max speed is 84-32 reverse, and its power to weight ratio is 30.21. Now, remember what I said about tank destroyers. They're known for their concealment and their firepower. So, guess what we're not going to touch? Concealment and firepower. You may be saying, why not touch concealment? Well... It's what a tank destroyer is known for, and even if you did touch the concealment, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. Because currently, I do not run um, concealment stuff on my tank. The only concealment I run on it is smoke screen and the paint job uh, camo. Right now, my still concealment is 63.46, which is really good. Extremely good. But it's moving concealment is 175.06. I'm spotted all the time when I'm up and close. You'll see in the replay. But even though I'm spotted, they can't hit me. It still doesn't matter. I can be detected and people are not going to hit me because I'm so small and I'm so fast. Don't touch the tank size because that just ruins the tank. So, and don't touch concealment because that just doesn't work. And it also kind of wouldn't change the tank at all. It would just annoy people that play the weasel, but the, the weasel will still be annoying to people. So, yeah, this is the weird balance. So, camo doesn't get touched. Firepower doesn't get touched. So, let's talk about its mobility. What would I do to it? Now, the mobility, I kind of nerf it a lot. Top speed from 80 to 65. Light tank. Now, why did I nerf it so much? That's a 15 kilometers reverse um, nerf. Because light tanks. Light tanks are 100% outclass. And this is a tiny little tank destroyer that has a firepower and a gun. And how small it is. And it's the smallest tank in everything. So, also it can't do this like run up to people and just shoot them in the back and 
safely run away. You need to, when you nerf the mobility of this thing, you would need to rely on its camo the most, instead of just relying on its speed. The speed is what makes this tank. It's so small and it's so fast that it can get away very, very easily, very, very quickly. So yeah, top speed from 80 to 65, it's traverse speed from 50 to 40, and it's horsepower per ton since we're nerfing the top speed so bad, even the traverse speed. Horsepower from 30.21 to 32. Now, yes, yeah, so there's gonna be decimal numbers for the horsepower per ton, but this is basically quick math. So yeah, nerf its mobility, keep its camo. Now, let's talk about the 292, because I'll talk for the 477A lighter. And the 477 gets a pretty big nerf. Um, the 292. Let's talk about the Ajit 292. This is a Era 3 Soviet heavy, t um, Eastern Alliance heavy tank. It has the biggest, one of the biggest guns in Era 3, tied with the 477A. It has 900 millimeters of penetration, which is the highest amount of penetration on any tank non a to gym. So, yes, it is a very fast heavy tank too. And again, let's talk about it. It's got, like I just said, firepower, one of the best guns. Biggest gun, hits hard too, 760 damage. Penetration is 900. It's definitely got the firepower. It's got the mobility. It goes 70 forward. And its power to weight ratio is 28.78. It's got decent. Um, what is it called? Survivability. It's got 3,850 hit points. It doesn't have the best armor, but it's there. It's still very fast, very big gun. That's why I didn't say this tank was overpowered, because the armor, the survivability is still lacking in this tank. It can just get shot to pieces, and it's fine. So that means I'm not really going to nerf this tank too much, but it's going to be a flat out nerf on this tank. So its top speed would go from 70 to 65, because I think it's too fast. Its penetration would go to 900 to 750 which is still really good for a tank for a heavy tank remember this is a heavy tank and I'm taking short so loose penetration <laughs> and accuracy go from 0.31 to, to 0.34 so it can't snap on the move like it can right now you can pretty much go right now the place out of 292 is and Ricky proved this that you can just drive around as fast as you can with this tank, auto aim, and just pen everything. Literally just auto aim, pen, and drive as fast as you can with this tank, and literally you just rack up damage like fast. 6,000, 7,000 damage without even trying. So yeah, nerf is top speed, so light tanks have advantage. Nerf is pen, so it can't do that, that playstyle anymore, and plus the accuracy would do the same thing. I'm gonna be a little bit short on the 292. It's not an overpowered tank, it's just a super powerful tank. Now, let's talk about the only uh, overpowered tank on the on the list. Okay? The only overpowered tank on this list. Remember, firepower. I talked about the gun on the 292 because this tank has that same gun. It also has the best one of the best guns in Era 2 as its secondary, the BMP2 gun. So, it's got firepower. It's got amazing firepower. Its armor is really good. It's pretty much impenetrable from the front. So, you have the best armor at Era 3. You have the best armor in the game. You have the best gun. And your mobility is insanely fast. You go 75 kilometers forward. 
with a power to white ratio of 24.62. 75 is faster than most era three light tanks. So you are a tank that has the best gun with the best frontal armor. Faster than all light tanks in era three. Almost every single light tank in era three. So, and I'm going to make a comparison to World War II. Yes, people don't like me doing this, but it's a comparison. Just glare, hear me out. In World War II, the tanks that have the strongest frontal armor are usually the slowest tanks. So let's take that logic and the Cold War for the 477A. We're not going to touch, remember this is a tank shark, so we're not going to touch the firepower or the concealment. It doesn't really have concealment. So we're we're going to leave the firepower alone. We're gonna leave its armor and concealment alone. Yes, we're leaving the armor alone. Okay? Yes. We're, I'm blowing your mind. We're leaving the armor alone. But we're gonna heavily <laughs> nerf its mobility. Top speed from 75 to 50 because if you're gonna have the best frontal armor in the game, you are not gonna be the fastest tank. You're gonna be one of the slowest tanks in Era 3. You're still fast, but you're just a lot slower than everything else. Your traverse speed will be 30, from 30 to 22. So you can't really traverse. That might be a little bit too massive, but hey. But we're gonna give you a horsepower per ton buff. From 24.62 to 27 to help with that traverse speed nerf and that top speed nerf. So you can get to your top speed even better, but your top speed's gonna be heavily nerfed by 25 actually, which is a huge nerf. So we're gonna let the 477A keep its amazing armor. That's what that tank is known for. The amazing armor and the gun. Unpenetrable from the front. But there's no reason you should be going 75. You should be one of the slowest tanks. You have the best armor, non-penetrable from the front. You need to be one of the slowest tanks. So yeah, that's how I would chain slash fix four powerful tanks and one, oh, three power, super powerful tanks and one overpowered tank in Red Tanks console. So yeah, if you, like this video, consider subscribing because free and it helps out the channel a ton. And I'll see y'all next time, guys. Bye!